here we are again YouTube this time it's the Pelican Trailblazer NXT 100 another electric kayak that I put together doing it for a disabled lady and I want her to be really comfortable and make everything really easy as I can for her okay this is the throttle uh, you can tap it or you can set it full on turn it off alright Okay, down up under here, it's where the battery stays. Alright, this clip is a fast clip. You unclip it, don't have to worry about anything. It clips up underneath. You get up under here, you can see the 50 amp breaker. See the room back in here, you got a place to put your feet. Um, on the special battery tray, it's not going anywhere. So that's all hooked up. This minor thing to clip the uh, the uh, quick disconnect up in there. Battery's good enough for her. Later on, she can get one of them hundred and something dollar batteries. This will work for now, though. Okay. Now let's go over here. We have a steering pole, which is a nice little design. It, it works with my motor lift. And okay, what we have here is a little slide for it to slide on back and forth. It's grooved. This bungee keeps it in there, keeps it from plopping out. It's got a little, uh, with the curl of barrel clip, adjustable. Okay, and that runs back up into here. It's adjustable. Whatever size you want, adjust it. The Mr. Long Arm comes back here. And it's got a float in case it ever detaches from the kayak. And it goes here to the steering. This little thing here is a Clico clip. Instead of having a screw where you got to use a tool to put it in and out, you can pull this in and out to remove this steering. Okay, and that goes on over into the motor shaft itself. Alright, so we get a better look at it. It's my favorite, the Bass Pro Prowler. Let's uh, put a quick connect on it where she can just easily disconnect it from here. It goes down to here, there's no wires laying all over the deck. It's internally run and of course this is your motor lift for lifting the motor of course you have to have the pin out okay here's the motor mount that I built for this one really nice looking little motor mount I don't think so yeah, lift that up and you can see your quick disconnect in the motor mount good buddy Henry did the welding for me I did the rest, the design and the cleaning. Nice little thing, man. Still have your uh, handles and such. Okay, it's really, really turned out nice. That's uh, a lot nicer than any of mine are. But you got your battery gauge up here. Underneath the head, you have a light. So you can see if you're out at night. Okay, you see the cargo area is just good and open. Along with the seating area. All the way up to the battery, you can see the uh, steering pole up here. You can see the uh, on-off switch. I'm going to put a another switch in here to reverse polarity on the battery, and uh, that way you'll be able to have reverse and forward from the seat. So it's it's pretty well clean and open. Everything's nice. I'm going to see if I can if I can uh, demonstrate the motor lift. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay, I'm going to do a little slow in slow motion so you can see how it's going to lift up. And there it is. That's my little uh, my steering lift there with the pole. Yeah, it just turns out wickedly good, man. Look at that. A little secret there that I have in my steering pole to make it all come together and it twists and it lays right up on the deck just like it should so that's my motor lift and it's working good and then I got the motor up good and high it's up off high You'll be able to get in and out of the water pretty good with that and uh, it works with my cable systems or my motor pole system that works really good. I don't know anybody can match that. If I do, I'd like to meet them. 
I'm gonna let it I'm gonna try and let it back down I'm working with one hand here so you gotta give me a little bit so when it goes back down just give it a little tug just give it a little tug and once it gets so far it'll go up by itself and just uh go right back down where it's supposed to a little bit needs a little bit of oil on there which uh okay so that's how it works um when i can get a hold of her she gets ready to come test drive it test ride it or whatever but it's looking really good it's looking really good the motor lift turned out good the uh, steering pole turned out really great everything's turned out good on it it's one of the cleanest jobs i've done um, as far as quick disconnects and uh, nothing's in the way I mean you got all your cockpit you got everything there's no exposed wires you have the motor lift you have the tilt swiveling steering pole arm assembly you have the shortened motor you have the special belt mount you have the special quick connect fittings the thing is just awesome man one of my better pieces I will be bringing better video I surely need to get a hold of her and uh, see about getting things together so we can get on down and get some more better video um, for now this is what all I have but I will be bringing more I promise you okay YouTube I'll catch up with you man back to the laboratory